Ministry of Finance has given financial clearance for the recruitment of 1,080 new lecturers to boost teaching in the various public universities in the country. But speaking on News at 10 on Monday, National President of UTAC, Dr. Harriet Banu, said the move, though welcome, falls short of numbers required for effective academic work on various campuses. Universities have requested for lecturers and other categories of workers. And so we, for, for example, Legon has requested for about over 700. And the, the last check I had with the director for human resource was that he had a call that only 200 have been granted, the University of Ghana, for example. The University of Ghana has already recruited about 130 and over being paid from internally generated, internally generated funds. funds. Mm -hmm. So what it means is that the 130 would have to be regularized and then the few that is left, to, I mean, so it has not really solved the problem. I see. That's why we have been appealing that investors should be allowed to manage the institutions as they deem it fit. Deem it fit, meaning cut you off from government subvention so you become fully autonomous and fund your own self. Is that, oh, if, is that, that is, if that is what Ghana wants, why not? Why not? If that is the most appropriate thing to do for the universities to be able to function the way they should as institutions of hand learning where we train our human resource, why not? Then the universities will be allowed also to charge the fees that will make them break even. But if government doesn't want that, and he wants them also to operate as in normal institutions all over the world, then they should be allowed to recruit as and when they need the, 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 the mm. human resources.